Thanks to our modern society, food can be found everywhere at any time. But it wasn't always like this. For most of human history, fasting was the default state. We fed after a big catch and fasted until the next one. Over the last decades, research has shown us that fasting can be utilized to treat many modern diseases, ranging from diabetes to cardiovascular disorders. However, only very recently, we started to understand that many health benefits of fasting actually come from its positive effects on our gut microbiome. Research has shown us that periodic fasting can promote microbial diversity in the gut and shift the microbiome population towards a healthier composition. The idea is that the microbes that we consider as beneficial are perfectly adapted to periods of starvation, while rather harmful microbes rely on a constant flow of nutrients. This is nicely formulated in this 2019 paper. In general, the lack of natural cleaning mechanism appears to result in a loss of competitive advantage for mucus-adapted bacteria, while simultaneously favoring the non-mucus-adapted gut microbial bacteria that live on ingested food items of their host. In other words, bacteria that are adapted to periods of starvation outcompete those that are not. Let's take for instance the bacterium Akkermansia municifilia. It lives in all our guts and most research studies show that it is very beneficial for us. It is perfectly adapted to periods of starvation as it is able to feed on our mucus layer and thereby outcompete other microbes. Now you could argue, wait a second, isn't it bad if a bacteria degrades our protective mucus layer? Well, as this paper states, interestingly, even though the protective barrier of the mucin is decreased, Bacterial translocation across the epithelial may not increase, meaning that some turnover of the mucus layer might actually be good and that it doesn't necessarily increase the intestinal permeability, so no bacteria make it into your body where they cause inflammation. Now this was a lot of dense microbiology with a lot of speculations, so let's look at actual studies to see whether fasting is good for our gut. So a paper published in the journal Cell Metabolism shows in a mice model how intermittent fasting reduces the symptoms of multiple sclerosis by altering the gut microbiome. And this then shifts the immune cell profile towards a more anti-inflammatory state, which helped to reduce the severity of the disease. The researchers also initiated a small clinical trial on humans with multiple sclerosis and their results suggest beneficial effects of intermittent fasting in terms of altering the gut microbial composition and they also saw a slight shift in the immune system profile towards a more anti-inflammatory state. And even though it was just a small and short trial, I think these results are still very encouraging. And another very recent study from 2019 found that a fasting mimicking diet modulates microbiota and promotes intestinal regeneration to reduce inflammatory bowel disease pathology. The researchers did two different things here. First, they induced inflammatory bowel disease in mice with chemicals and looked at the difference between a normal diet and a fasting mimicking diet and found that the fasting mimicking diet reduced intestinal inflammation increased stem cell number, stimulated protective gut microbiota, and reversed intestinal pathology. Next, they recruited people with increased systemic inflammation and found that three cycles of the fasting mimicking diet reduced markers associated with systemic inflammation. I think these two studies show very promising results in terms of how intermittent fasting reduces inflammation through changes in the gut microbiome composition. Studies also found that fasting can protect against pathogens. This 2014 paper found that when mice were fed every other day instead of every day, their immune response towards pathogens like Salmonella improved. The researchers concluded their findings by saying that apparently the changes following metabolic stress induced by intermittent fasting during food deprivation days increased the resistance to Salmonella typhimerium infection by triggering intestinal IgA production. Generally speaking, IgA is the most important antibody in the gut and is important for intestinal homeostasis. While IgA antibodies prevent pathogens from colonizing the gut, they allow beneficial microbes to thrive. And by now there is some evidence that intermittent fasting modulates IgA levels. 
Okay, I have one more interesting study. A 2017 paper found that alternate day fasting in mice increased the production of the short-chain fatty acid acetate. Short-chain fatty acids are produced in our gut and have been shown to be very beneficial for our health as they initiate fat loss and reduce inflammation in the body. Overall, I really think that the scientific research shows us that fasting or intermittent fasting is beneficial for our microbiome. So if you're new to fasting but you still want to try it, you can check out some other videos of mine to this topic. Also consider subscribing if you want to learn more about the microbiome. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.